Uh, hello guys, uh, today I want to share with you my experience uh, of recruiting for the summer internship and the full time. I come from Ukraine, I'm a second year MBA and I worked at Cisco office uh, in Ukraine back uh, as a sales engineer and then as a network consulting engineer. Uh, after the school I planned to become a product manager in the high tech company in the United States. So when I came to the business school I have had a conversations with many different companies they realized that for me personally there might not be a better fit than the company I worked for because it's really good in the high-tech environment and the product management there is really interesting so I wanted to come back though at the school I realized that unfortunately this year during the uh, financial crisis the company has closed its recruiting on campus for international students and I got really disappointed because I considered it my first choice option. The other disappointment I really got was when I was talking to other engineering companies like Microsoft etc I realized that my engineering experience is not perceived as much available as it used to be at Cisco when I worked there because it's pretty specific the technologies differ from company to company and they really differ from segment to segment whether it's hardware engineering software engineering uh, website engineering etc so in disappointment I have contacted my previous manager uh, and told him that what can I do to get in touch with Cisco can I can he get me in touch with somebody etc and he told of course yes he got me in touch with the director of, of my previous team who's, who was also an American and managed some team in USA simultaneously he contacted my previous manager or a couple of managers and got extremely well feedback good feedback about me about my work as an engineer as I was like one of the leading engineers on the team and he volunteered to help me to get a summer internship position which I really wanted he contacted another director in the United States at the team I was interested in and gave me greatest recommendations there and I was admitted for a product management internship at Cisco although not through the conventional channel, through the on-campus recruiting where I couldn't apply. Um, this is a point which shows that even if you're leaving the company, you know that you go for the MBA, you should still maintain your performance, still leave the company at the positive uh, relationships, maintain the relationship with your previous managers because you never know where you may end up. Another great point about internship at the same company you work at is that the large corporations if you have worked in a large corporation or the division of large corporation in your home country is that they have pretty much any function which you may be interested at in future it could be product management marketing supply chain operations accounting finance pretty much everything so you if you have relationships in your previous company you can end up a position there and continue working the country you you want and it the role you want. Another thing is which I found throughout the recruiting was that your previous background would be never valued more at any other company than the one in one where you have acquired this experience. So because you know the company, you know the functions you worked at, even though you wouldn't be applying them in the role you are going to, it may be still very valuable background information for the different functions you will be working on. For example, at Cisco when I was working on the go-to-market strategy uh, for the one product during the summer, actually my previous engineering certifications, background, sales knowledge for the Cisco products was sometimes valued way, way much more than my MBA uh, title and MBA experience. Uh, another point do, do, which I want to give you an advice when you come for the summer internship would it be your company or any other company is that it's not the time uh, to have fun it is really time to build up your resume build up your experience uh, and prepare for the full-time recruiting season because during the summer because during the summer you have really a chance to work on the skills you want uh, to develop which will be very good supplement to your story of why you want to go to this particular function and you, you can't really rely that your manager during the summer internship will be give you exactly the project 
which you're looking for. Sometimes they, they will give something not very important, not very interesting, because they know that you are just a labor force just for three months. And it is your task as a future leader, as a manager, as a person who is active, uh, who takes the initiative to negotiate the project you will be working at. This is what I did. Uh, and I have negotiated a very interesting project for go-to-market strategy for one product. Had a chance not only to work on the all aspect of what product managers do in their work, but also develop great network uh, within a team I worked at. I had an interviews, managed to reach many potential managers during the summer of the teams I wanted to work at. I had a very good conversation for them. I had a very good story. And when I left the, com uh, left the internship, Actually, I didn't leave it because uh, my internship was extended and I'm still working until the end of the MBA year uh, there part-time and earning money and getting some extra experience. Uh, after the internship or like during the internship right now, during the full-time recruiting season, this year I actually could apply full-time because I won a green card. But even I, I feel even if I didn't have a green card, I still would have would be able to apply to Cisco just through the informal channel. So during the first round of interviews, I pa passed them successfully. That was obvious. My story is very consistent from the beginning, uh, that I want to work at Cisco, the different roles, how they uh, work together. During the second round, I was really liked by all teams I talked to. And uh, generally during the recruiting season, people are supposed to get notified about the results in two weeks. But I was called by two, two different teams in the second day after the interview. They assigned me extra interview, not interviews, but conversations with vice president, senior vice presidents of the two teams to negotiate, to convince me to go to particular, their, particular to their team because they perceived my experience very valuable, including my engineering experience too. Uh, then I considered it for several days and picked the team, which I think is the most interesting for me out of many, many dozens of different business units at, at the company. And as a result, after the business school, I go to uh, the company I like in the headquarter, the best location which I could consider for myself, the most interesting role which I wanted, product management, very good conditions, which I managed to negotiate in terms of salary, grade, and opportunities, and to very dynamic team which is growing, which gives perspectives, not only to learn a lot, but also to grow, make a progress if you perform well. And at this point, I feel that I got from the school much more than I could expect. Uh, and uh, I have achieved what I wanted to achieve. And uh, I believe this may be a good example of how you can progress, uh, how you can make a change during the MBA career in terms of position, location, and still come back to your own company. So I would highly advise to the to students who are either just entering the MBA program or just leaving their companies and coming to the MBA program to consider that you really should always maintain great relationships with all people you work with, maintain contacts you had in the companies you worked at before and consider it as a really great valuable option for your summer internship or full-time career. Thank you.